Prem Sulabindra Van Bihari Lala Ki Jai. Sit down, everybody. Sit down. Welcome to another session of our Bhagwat Katha. At this time, let's all stand as we begin this evening with RT. And as you present yourself to our Lord Krishna, put your hands in a posture for prayer as you present yourself humbly. Dear Lord, by your grace, by your permission, I have arrived, I'm here. I'm able to view this courses. This is our 15th session. We are coming to the end already. Prabhu, as we wave this light, we stand because we want to visualize, we want to see your murti, your moment when this offering is being made of light energy, heat energy. Karma says how I give is so I get. And when I need the change, the help, the assistance in my life, energy could change from one form to the next depending on the problem I'm facing. RT is a big thing in our dharma. And as we do this now, May you please hear my prayer. Each person gathered here may not know all the inners of Sanskrit or Hindi. They may not know all the bhajan, all the mantras, but they know in their heart at a simple, simple point. Dear Lord, when we talk to you, when we come to you in the right way, in the right language, in the right intonation, it is possible to overcome the challenges, the troubles, the difficult moments that we all face from time to time. Sajam cha Varti Sanyuktam Rahina Yojitam Mayam Deepam Rehana Devesham Everybody have to help me now. The boy's going. Let's sing for Lord Krishna.
Tonight we continue in our Christian discourse. Earlier today, we did, we started talking about Lord Krishna. Gert Brand tells you that if you happen to recite, you happen to chant his name because of the link, that his form is linked to the coming of Kalyu. It of all the different forms that Lord Vishnu took, this form has a, a little more benefit to burning away of karma or sin so you will see people fixate on the chanting of his name more so than maybe the mastya or the kurma or the other forms that lord vishnu took as the time is degrading in terms of the amount of good the amount of focus people have as it is described in Kali Yuga, what is to come when people's lifespan is getting shorter this book this text Bhagavad was created for this Ved Vyas saw the degradation coming and he takes our one Ved Vedas was one and he breaks it into four he gives each section to a different disciple and he says propagate its training Mankind needs a little easier text to follow. Going forward, that was in Dwapur. When now it was time to come of Kali Yuga, he says people will not understand the poetic language of the suktams of the different sections contained in the Ved. People would be lost. They would not hold on to any of the teachings. We need to change this again. So he creates Bhagavad Pura. A text that has the Vedic teachings but is punctuated by personalities representing good, bad. I'll associate Sri Ram with good, Ravan with bad, Duryodhan with bad, Yudhishthir with good. But Yudhishthir is a complex character because he also could do bad when he bets his brother, when he bets his wife, for example. And it really shows that sometimes, as much as you feel somebody's perfect, the best of the best could make a mistake. And when you come across like what we did today with Portna, when you take up the mantle to judge somebody, and then God shows you that even the worst poison riddled person, person who executes the best black magic and witchcraft, that he will take such a person into his body. The soul does not have to go like me and you and worry about Pinda and worry about final rites and all that. The soul slips through her bosom into his being never to come again. True Mukti. 
accepted because of who she was previously as we have been discussing from time and time again example after example prahalad story the varman story raja bali raja bali is going to get to do a favor for krishna many people get it wrong and they think this man is so bad but when you listen to the discussion between god and this person we judge people we look at people and say you know what he's a bad guy but god comes upon the earth for this alleged bad person and puts him to work as you will hear by tomorrow tonight we enter into another discourse showing how when you have problems and you go to christian in an illustrated format how it is possible to get help when we were doing the discourse that showed the the inners of the nursing the form on the wall here with the lion's head human body sometimes people think you know it looks good it's good decoration that's the only thing i could get out of it it looks good but when you read in it and you hear but if i go to this person and i use the stotra the prayer for example and i have had to heal diseases such as cysts polyps cancerous growth and i turn to him and i say listen when prahalad was in imminent danger in an imminent death you saved him you ripped apart everybody i need your help now and you'd go in that manner with faith with true devotion and fever that i know when i call upon you when i do your mantra the things that we profess to believe in i will see change but what we just do sometimes i believe in god when things are good and when things start to look a little bleak my faith and my devotion in the dharma that i profess to believe in starts to dwindle nobody else does that hindu is a funny bunch think about what we do i love saraswati i love lakshmi i love durga i despise kali mata in one example the same hindu group does that could you imagine another religious body attacking their own beliefs walking away from the things that you believe the tenets the tenets of what your dharma is well pundit we don't know about offering blessing the food bogla gawe we don't know about that so we will leave out that part that part is too difficult for example the same things that make up who you are when people bad talk and they say you know what is kaliyug is kaliyug it is as if you are supposed to accept the compromise but when in gita he says when you do prayers for convenience or out of convenience that is called tamasic prayer is where we get catch i am doing the puja i have all the flag i'm wearing the best sari i look the part but the quality of your prayer suppose somebody says you think pandit go really know if i tifa pisa kfc if i go on a break the fast and to mora do the press they really say god is come for your heart anti not for when your stomach and you compromise everything that you believe in and then you sit by that baby and you really expect to get the outcome then remember karma says what you give is so you get and this is why sometimes the best devotee has to see the rough side of life i am praying for it i'm praying for it i'm praying but like god don't like me like that god will the printer do work he battery run out because i feel like i wasted my time but if you and i were to be very honest we talk about the night when we were talking about dharma the imagery where parikshit meets a one legged bull and he says in kaliyug dharma the bull loses satvik clean satya truthfulness sauch cleanliness the devotion is on the decline you and i both know we could call many examples of young people today saying you know what baba i don't feel like i come shivratri i'm sleepy i can't make but call it call it juvena Let me start a jump and open my ban here for Lord Shiva. We catch everybody, you know. The focus, the effort, is different. Time management is different. 
Gone are the days for every elder here. Gone are the days when people would pray out their eyes pray. And the purpose then of Bhagwat, if it is so bleak, is to just to remind you. Because if we give up, if we embrace Kalyuga and, and say all young people bad, all old people cannot do anything, if we get into that negative mindset, well then you're in trouble. Because when good people do nothing, then you're in trouble. So we have to fight the good fight. Yes, the, the, the statistics, well, statistics say that we are the fifth most, how you call it, High, highest crime rate, the fifth highest crime rate in the world. If everybody own a security company, does it really pay to be safe at the same time? Does it pay, to, does it incentivize anybody to not have crime? On the other side, we have many things we could discuss, but one thing we have to discuss in sight of the devil and the demon that you face. When it's, when it's cancer, you don't give up. When it's a child that weak in maths, autistic, you don't give up. When things are not looking good, that is the time to buckle and get down to your prayer. Otherwise, do you really have faith? Or is it that every time your faith is tested, throw your hands up in the air and do absolutely nothing? Tonight, as you hear about a little demon, a little test, let me use with Starboy Lord Krishna as a little guide what to do. Engage yourself. If it were you, when it have trouble, do you run to the trouble? Hanuman Baba, give me the strength, Mahavir Swami. Or do you run from it? In the marriage with children, with everything that is happening in the world, do you run from your trouble? Are you a coward? When you bow to that murder in your heart, God, give me the strength. Give me the energy. You're bowing to your dear, you're how and smoke, you're murti. Why do you bow? To pull the energy, the whole, and to charge your heart, to face the, de the demon that coming. Take the energy to do what? Tonight, that is where you have to ask yourself. Let me enter into this discourse. We enter into chapter 15, scan 10 of Mahabhagavad Purana. Jai Bhule Baba Tabasharanam. Come on, everybody. Your voice going. Help us sing out. Jai Bhule Baba Tabasharanam. To Raja Parikshit, now the Pau Ganda stage, uh, a word to describe the boys at the age of six to nine. Now they become a little more responsible. It is time for them to tend to cows. They are instructed to go and take the younger ones in herds and walk them 
into the forest, into the pastures where you will find grass and water. But in this playful stage, only basri, only songs, only singing for each other, brother playing with each other, Sudama, Mansuk, all the friends are there. All the Devtas, Kinaras, those heavenly people, Gandharvas, those singers, they want to see the Lord in His Leela. How could you fit the entire universe into this little body? All of them want to see this wonder. If one universe sits on the end of a hair, on his skin, on the surface of his body, how do you package all of this? What a sight! Into this little boy that is playing and watching birds running behind deer as the animals would be eating and feeding, shading from the sun. Playing like brothers in the ground looking for flowers to bring for each other. The first bean is enjoying Sheshnag in the form of Bhalra. The earth is enjoying the company of the Lord. Shri Dhamma, Su Dhamma, he was very close to both Ram and Krishna, Balram, Krishna. They come and they want to hear the music of the Basuri. Rama, Rama, Mahabahu, you are the stronger one, O Balram. Show us your strength today. Mama guy, sweet words to get him to go and pick fruit for them off the trees. By this time, Portna and different forms of demons are constantly attacking them. It is not something new, but Krishna did come. Krishna did come upon the earth to execute his plan which was to rid the earth of all its negative forces. All these beings, now Dhenuka, which one day found them in that forest in the form of a donkey, wants to come and kick and damage them. And when they dealt with that demon, by lifting his heavy carcass, his body, and threw him up into the air, all Sudama, all of the friends, want to know but how six years old and you live in something so heavy what type of power do you have what type of strength and christian says don't study that don't worry about that leave that let's continue to play go under the palm trees when the sun is hot and they want to get fruits they want to get different type of fruits that are in season let's hear what happened when one day whilst waiting and sheltering all this sun and all this heat. Yashoda and Rohini would pack them all their little jewelry with food. And the brothers sat down and Krishna is picking from this one and stealing from this one. And all of them enjoy, enjoy each other's company as the Lord of this universe was feasting. The boys went to drink the water. And when they drank that water and they went to frolic and bathe, innocence this innocence all the mala all the perfume from the sweet flowers adorned their body was overrun and overcome by the scent of pungent poison the scent of the poison is damaging them they breathe it and they start to fall looking at a distance the protector of the innocent sees trouble let's hear what happens ya devi sarva bhuteshu shakti rubena samstita namastasye 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 namo Thank you. 
राघवश गोपश्च नदिया पाही हिंदया दृष्ट चलन पापी ये न स्मृतिये तत्विंदवन या so hot the humidity is overbearing these young fellas they don't start to think they don't think danger they're so accustomed being free they are free and they enjoy the environment they live in nothing holds them back no restraint and without a second thought all water is healthy water there's no danger here the yamuna they run and they dive and they play as if they are embracing their mother and they start to drink and they gulp and that contaminated water with poison with all better judgment smelling the fumes they didn't think anything they all start to die bodies float on the, on the Yamuna in this corner in this nook of a tributary of the Yamuna Innocent boys now, their bodies are riddling the bank of the water and Krishna is seeing it and he gets up very calm, good at crisis management and just by touching them, brings them back, revives them, tells them my brothers, let's go and play over there and he moves them away from the water, knowing in that moment there was someone hiding in the water. There is somebody, it, because of their presence in the water, this person is causing detriment to innocent. Not only these boys, but the way how the poison is potent. If birds fly over that region, because of the vapor of the poison moving up, birds are dying, fishes are dying, different forms of life. And our Christian is known for Kripa, for mercy. But mercy cannot be given, O oh, Parikshit, mercy cannot be given to only people that look like you. It cannot be given to only people who fit in your financial bracket. It cannot be only given to the shepherd and not to the cow. Krishna is, he wants to deal with this scourge for the purpose of saving life. He lokaye dushtayatam Krishna Krishna ve bhava yaji biye sarvam Come on everybody, let's know this one. Say it Kalia is in this water. Hiding in Yamuna Devi is this black serpent, huge and very potent. Raja Parikshit says, could you narrate to me the history of what really is going on? What went on next? How is it that this serpent is submerged and is hiding? The snake is not an aquatic animal. How is it hiding there? For what purpose and what, how did it reach there? What went on with Lord Krishna? Did he get damaged? What did he do? Brahma ye bhagavasya Bhauma swaya deva tirat Kopaladhara charita desha ye mritya Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh Guruji, you have been wonderful at narrating incident after incident. The different form, the different moments in not only the Christian avatar, but in all of Lord Vishnu's work, in all that he is doing. But tell me, tell me as a thirsty person myself, you're talking about drinking water, but I want to hear the glories of this omnipotent form. And maybe if you describe it to me, then I will get satiated, I'll get satisfied by listening by understanding the true potency of Krishna. I wouldn't think a six-year-old would go to face off a great snake. I would expect a child to run from danger. Whether a being is mobile, immobile, regardless of how or what it does, how it lives, if it walks, if it crawls, if it swims. Yes, I've heard from you in different chapters that all come from Mahavishnu. But dear Lord, dear Guru, please tell to me this one so that I could understand my God a little more. So that I could have a little more better understanding that my strength and my faith, my devotion, because when I talk to him, when I know in that little form how powerful he is, then my devotion is able to get stronger. He says, Parikshit, that Krishna has incarnated to subjugate all forms of wickedness, venom, people that spread venom, people that drag other people, they end up as the prey for the hands of this little Baal Krishna. When you take delight in hurting and harming, do you think you're going to end up any different than this predator that we are referring to now in this water hiding in plain sight giving out poison as its prasad for those people that are non-suspect that will accept anything because of their innocence the poet William Blake defined the innocence as the face of a child the way they act the way they react the way they eat the way they talk the way they think nakedness for a child that is innocence but for adults that is what you call experience they start to look at things different in the pool is this great serpent Christian goes over Parikshit and he hangs over on a Kadamba tree as he was playing kicking this ball closer and closer and closer and he's coming close but Balram Sheshna reincarnate, Lachman from Ram Avatar reincarnate is watching him. He doesn't tell him anything because he knows that the Lord has come to do his work. And Balram is different. Balram has confidence. He knows that regardless to the figure, the shape, the form, the Lord is in charge. And even in this instance, where he is younger than Balram, he doesn't gym in terms of his confidence everybody else is looking at him in different episodes as a little boy but Balram is watching and Parikshit is hearing that all Balram could do is twist his head and smile that yet again you are busy at work when the ball is going closer and closer and closer ball falls into the water floating on the on the surface of the water Christian stretching his toes to pull back the ball and innocently falls into the water and still Balram did not move, did not react, did not panic but Sudama one of the younger boys in that herd wakes up from the little swoon to see Christian go under that water knowing that there is something in that water runs to go and tell who your shoulder your shoulder is alarmed not by Balram but by Sudama and whilst because they are at a distance it takes some time Balram is waiting to see the Lord in his true form let's hear what happens in this look
pahi 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 gajanana parvati nanda gajanana pa come on everybody pahi pahi goes into the water and he swims down to the depths to find Kalya. Kalya is alerted by the frolicking in the water and he realizes that something is intruding on his his abode, his 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 habitat and he goes very quickly with full force to attack the intruder and the two of them clash in that water. Kalya gets to wrap its coils around the body and the moving and the shifting of the muscles of its of the snake by its nature is starting to ring and squeeze Krishna from for one mahura for 48 minutes Krishna is submerged and in that time Sudama and all the villagers they start to, they start to arrive none that all the men come the women left their cows left their house and they came Krishna is troubled, the children are in trouble, they come quick. Krishna is not coming up. The water is moving, something is happening, but they're not seeing him. They start to think the worst. But in the water, it is as if Garud himself, the enemy, the destroyer of all snakes, is fighting with full force. That serpent is in trouble. And anyhow, when he realizes after a while, he cannot squeeze this boy. This boy is holding him and squeezing him and beating him, holding the tooth, the different fangs and pulling. The poison seems to be ineffective. The squeezing doesn't seem to do anything. No amount of fire can burn his foe. And no matter how this snake is twirling and turning, it seems as if the snake is in trouble. Eka Danda Gajanena Eka Danda Gajanena Eka Danda Gajanena Eka Danda Gajanena Everybody 
everybody is very worried. The men try to get sticks and they try to plow as if to trod the water to see if they will find something to find a body. The men start to get very despondent. Oh, Nanda Baba, it doesn't look good. Who could survive in that depth for 48 minutes? Who could stay there for so long? Nanda Baba, I'm sorry, it looks as if you've lost one. We will have to fish out the body and begin to do final preparations. The women, they beat their bosom, they beat their chest. Why as a woman, why as a mother, you have to live. If the breast is a gift, it is a relationship between the mother and the child that begins in the process of childbirth, the bonding. It ends on the day you marry the child. When the child's drunk and if you were talking about it, the entire ride where they take the breast to the water and you, you, you sprinkle the water and you beg the water to please return the body. The women begin to do that because they thought this is it, it's done, it's gone. Very negative now. One or two people try to enter to the water for a kid, but Balram propped on the tree. He says, hold on, hold on. You're panicking, don't panic. Wait, don't go in that water. You will get, you will drown. You will get bitten. You will get sick. Wait, have faith. Hold on. And as that moment is coming, who is coming? Your shoulder is at a distance and she starts to beat her chest and ball. Where is my boy? And when she calls, in that moment, Kalia is pulled up and out of the water. What looks as if Kalia is raising with Krishna on top of his head, one of the heads. This is a multiple head, venom spraying, fire spraying type of animal. But it was Krishna pulling him up. But for the sake of your shoulder, he makes his appearance now. He is very well alive. He is dancing his little foot, that little red bottom foot is balancing on the fangs of Kalia. Let's hear what happened. When you say pahi 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 means safe. The lady was bawling for she son. I want to see my son. With my son. Now she sees she son. With my son doing. What are you doing there? Oh God, you got it. He is dancing and smiling. Balram is saying, don't interfere with me. You know what you're doing. He'll be okay. But Yashoda cannot see the Lord. Yashoda is only seeing her son in danger. The hissing, the red tongue of Kalia is falling because the weight of that little foot is hitting the head. And every time her head went up, it had to come down. And the massive weight that Mother Earth cannot bear. Whenever Lord Shiva has to come and remind Lord Vishnu, it's time to go. In one of our discourses to come, we will do, we will do the one where Lord Shiva incarnates as the son of Lord Krishna, Samba. Many examples, many things that illustrate the teachings of our faith, proper, proper behavior, Dharma Sastra, faith, devotion. But when reading Bhagwat, Bhagwat gives you the illustration that it's just like TV, just like a movie, you could see it in your mind and you could get carried away by the power and the drama of the Lord. The intrinsic value is when you see demons and their attacks, what do you hold on to? Do you get caught up with the physical vision and get carried away, lose hope, like all these people at the bank? Although in the company of Christians, they're lost, they're hopeless, they throw away everything they've seen so far, time and time again, Potna and Denuka and all the others. 
no hope, no matter what God does, there is no hope for your faith. When a test comes, give up. Balram now is the opposite. He could win. Hold on. Don't be a bandwagonist. When good come in, you're holding on, man. I'm a Hindu. I'm a Sanatanist. And when a day come, when flood come, when killing come, when somebody die, that's the day you walk away from your faith. But when you say it is Kaliyuk, did you really believe it would always be good? When somebody says you need to hold on to your prayer and chant, when things are good, hold on to your prayer. So the day when serpents walk the earth and they try to bite and they come close to you, you have your friend on your shoulder. Dear God, I'm ready. It's time to fight. Christian tells Arjun, take up your bow. Don't be complacent now. Get up and fight. You went and you do all tear at everything to get weapon. Now at the beginning, now you want to give up? Where you do all of that for? Give them the kingdom if you was thinking like that. Who time you trying to waste? You did all the prayers, you did everything. Get up now, you're ready, you are capable, you could, you could do it. Have faith in yourself that your prayers is potent, that you could fight like your God and damage, and not only beat and nearly beat, but damage the enemy. I don't know who said, that Hindu, no fight. You watch your God and tell me if it's only flowers they have in their hand. Our God is a defending God. Maybe I don't go and interfere with other people. But when venom comes to interfere with your children, when your, your wife, your spouse is in danger, that's the time for you to pick up your prayers. It have prayers. If you know your God, you would know it have things called cupboards. Armor, dear God, sit on my body and protect me. I'm getting ready to face. Help me, walk with me and go with me and do not allow me to lose faith or to lose ground. I need you to stand up with me. Then you become more potent and more powerful. But if you like this, like the doctor, take a canal for high pain, hair pain, hair pain, back pain, foot pain, and one tablet have to fix everything. You will tell the doctor you're mad. But boy, you sit down and you think Om Namah Shivaya will fix every logical problem you face. Our God is showing you it's one God, but I take different moments and I illustrate, I show you. Don't get tired of this deal, I just the God, that's all. But I am in different moments showing you sickness could come in different forms. Tests could come in different forms. And it just have a mantra. Maybe it have a different method that you could get a solution. If you go to the doctor and he say take the red tablet for the ears, take the yellow tablet for the ears, for the eyes, whatever it be, you don't doubt that tablet. You sit in that office, you're vexed, you're the pain, man. You're grumbling, you had to wait so long. But you don't ever say, I wonder if this tablet will work. With faith, you take the tablet and you wait to see what happens next. But prayers, I wonder if you speak up better. Based on we discourse, why Krishna has this on his head? You should have matter heard that the eye, the eye of Vishnu is the, is the black dot on the peacock. So I'll decorate him. My boy is so bad lucky. He's so unlucky. Anyway, go. Every time he step out the house, there's somebody trying to kill the child. So I'll arm him with something that as he's walking, push back the bar. This is why people is jarry with this. They put it in the office. They give people it. And in a very neutral way, this could be on a shelf in our office. I have my guard. I have my protection shielding me from the bar. Hindus, when using their dharma, according to Bhagwa Dharma, when using your dharma, you are able to overcome any test. If only you knew the inner, the secret of your prayers. If you understood your God, rather than simplify it, that one prayer, Om Namah Shivaya. Get carried away, that God live in India. God could only study Hindi. God is only, if I have to talk in a fake accent, then God will understand me. You have to be stupid. You telling me Google Translator understand more people than God? If I talk from my heart tonight and I say, God, you see how that man talked to me? I feel bad. 
Why my husband so stupid for? Why that child so disrespectful for? Because that's where you're facing. Sometimes the demon is not outside you. Know? Sometimes it's in your house. Sometimes in the abusive marriage. You're living with the devil and you're praying God. The full moon coming. Make sure he ain't your mad today. Help me today. Let me survive tonight. He coming home drunk and it could be hell to pay. Kalio, live where the alcohol is served. Live in the prostitute's house. Live where envy live. Live in that gambling institution. Watch them for a place. And you can see one thing the people is active from. The person who always hungry and prevalicious, they never have contentment, no matter what. According to that farmer this course, when Bali tell him, tell, ask some more land, you want what three foot could do? He say, you can give me three now, you give me four next, five next. If I do have contentment, it will never be enough. You give me an island, it will never be enough. I have to have contentment. Let me hold on to my tree and I will be satisfied. When I'm satisfied, I'll find happiness. But it have some people have so much. But you see the five inch that fence take with the neighbor have? It's butter in my boy. I can't be happy, that neighbor get that thing. The fruit tree porting the mango say, let the neighbor get one doodles. And that eating you. But you will find that you're using mango leaf to call that sweet matter, you're decorating your temple, sporting, but you're missing it. Call on God day and night to live wrong. And God is supposed to work in real life. Careful, careful in Bagua to tell you, are you Ram or are you Rawan? Both worship Lord Shiva. Choose the side. I could worship Lord Shiva, get the burden and become very demonic and very powerful. I can be very purified and very powerful. Same God. Let's hear what happens. Kalia can't take lips anymore. The umbrella, the head, he cannot take the little foot. is stamping like a tattoo on his head. And who comes to save the husband? The wife. The different spouse. One of the most powerful prayers that is uttered is when somebody is wrong. Somebody is wrong. This is not for saintly people. This is for sinners. They chant this prayer that these wives, these nagas came and they started to beg this little boy. Have mercy on sinful people. Have mercy that when they're young, their mouth is say things. They just do things. They just cheat. They just steal. They just abuse the honesty in the marriage. Dear Lord, you are the father of all. Forgive this serpent. Anugraho e Bhagwat Kripaye Yena Yena Kulayati Pahi 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 Jajanana Parvati Nanda Jajanana Parvati Nanda these girls knew by the actions of this little boy that this couldn't be just a six-year-old child. And they recognized the divinity. And they call him Prabhu. They call him Bhagwan. Dear Lord, when sinful people come before you, will you mercilessly punish them? Will you only be the rod? Will you only be the person that draws the line in the sun? And without any type of mercy, uphold that line? Kalia is great. Kalia is strong. Kalia is powerful because you made him strong. You gave him the poison that is within his body. You made him so. And he is ruled by the instinct he does not have the ability that mankind deuters to make cognitive decision that I am going to bite somebody. Like animal instinct, it reacts to protect young, protect the abode. His actions did not have the malicious intent to harm those boys or to harm you. For the purpose of our marriage, for the purpose of our children, please spare him. 
and for many verses it is a full stotra people use this you see when people have kal sarap dosh in their birth chart and they cannot get a brick it's a horrible condition to have when a person has this no matter what they endeavor into let's say business it is doomed to fail no matter what relationship it is doomed to fail they go for medical treatment something will delay put it off throw it off so a person asks what could i do to overcome this just as kal sarap kal sarap means the black snake that is lying in your birth chart you use this totra this prayer this discourse and you ask that dear god may you shanti may you accept it as praschit karma they are, we use we banter this word a lot karma karma has different types of karma in the gita mahatyam the text that is there when lord krishna leaves the earth mother earth says she comes quick in the cow form where you going i know call you and i ask you to come and help me where you, if you leave now this entire thing will go backward he says listen i left a bhagavad gita a divine song upon the earth if people follow the tenets of that book that's all they need easier now than ved easier than all the itihas ramayan and, and mahabharat bhagavad gita is concise very pocket size of all your texts think was in hindu you have so many books 18 puranas ved vyas root how come only this one is pocket size because this is the newest one the one that deals with the information in a way that the human would accept it quickly you have a fight like arjun you have a fight in front of you. i need the answer fast i don't need to read three volumes of bhagavat so he says let the person keep it keep it the body my body is the body of the gita the 18 verses that are there it's me this is why till today you are giving it in charity If you read the first three chapters, give the person the blessing as if they have done Shiv Puran Yagya. Six chapters, give them the blessing as if they went to the Ganga and they took a bath. The entire book, let it be equivalent to go down. So when you live in a world where it's a concrete jungle and you don't have the ability to maintain the cow, but it I always wanted to do a go down, but the cost is so ridiculous. Nobody wants to see the cow. I don't want the cow to suffer, brother. There's an option. the man left you an option sit down in your spare time and read the book isn't all chinmaya mission data tria yoga center stressing on the learning and the chanting of the gita understand why there are so many methods to find help there are so many means for you to help yourself if you could just choose one and stay to it stay the course no matter what kalya jump up in your life don't give up this life is test lord shiva takes the form as durba sarishi to test you he says that he goes to ram and he wants to see what lakshman will do and when lakshman dies he passes the test he goes to krishna and he says i want you to bathe in gobar if you do you listen to your pandit he says yes sir let me see it bathe in it and he did he, he was ridiculous he was like mad to rukmani and krishna very tough cook for me at 2 o'clock in the morning and after they cook the world all right my belly full may order food again are you are you fed up of me now do you want me to leave no guruji stay quiet i will do my diligence i will do my job i'll do what i have to do and the last day he made them bathe in fermenti fermenti is gobar mixed with oils and so on and after the entire thing he says wherever there was gobar on your body your body will become as adamantium steel impervious to any type of weapon he durvasa sees krishn take off his shoes and just as he slipped the shoe by the foot the ankle the charan is clean he says oh krishn what did you do now that is your weak point if somebody wants to harm you if somebody wants to damage you there is where they will penetrate your body in our discourse you will hear how the arrow enters his ankle and he bleeds under the pepper tree when he's leaving this world how he leaves the world it's amazing it's a wonderful discourse and we will do it they beg they beg for mercy and he tells him even you i could give mercy kalia is not killed kalia is not destroyed kalia is warned if you stay here if you remain here for one more day to cause suffering to these innocent children or these villagers or these animals I will summon Garud my vahan and he will rip you to pieces. If he doesn't do it, I will do it. 
leave this place go into your habitat and do not cause any pain to those entities or those forms that are defenseless blessed oh Parikshit, blessed is the person who recalls this discourse that when the mortal being is under the attack of any type of oppressor chant the stotra for this for this prayer the kalia stotra i'm calling it is a long very long name chant it in the sandhya time when the brahmuda when the sun is coming when the sun is coming up i like the face east do you know why your face is the sun is coming up on the horizon and the radiation from the sun penetrate my body charge my aura charge and fix my problems Chant the prayer then, chant it in the Sandhya hour, facing east again. And the person overcomes Kalsarap Dosh in their Patra. They overcome the fear when people are only dreaming snake, dreaming snake, and the child is bawling out. Chant this when they're doing their normal Shiv Puja, it is chanted in the home. And the child is able to get rest when people are very full of anxiety they can't breathe when they see a fear they see the snake and they start to panic imagine you just see it on tv you know it they're real it's nowhere close to you but you start to breathe different you have that fear factor inside of you or you are overrun by some form of trauma past trauma and you cannot overcome the fear i'm afraid the bandit will come again i'm afraid the flood will come again i'm afraid you will leave me you will cheat on me again Chant this type of prayer with faith and Lord Krishna will take care of the Kalia in your life. That demon, that, that damning moment will have to go. The effects, the poison that remain after this person, this entity, the lost spirit, you name it. The effects of this presence in your life. Trust that this little boy, this little form, not a man yet, is capable and potent enough to deal with your problems. Vindravan Bihari Lalaki. Tonight, I have, let me acknowledge Sri Aman. I don't want to pronounce this wrong. Fagu. Fagu. Pagu. 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 And he's visiting our island from Suriname. It is our pleasure. I'm very grateful, humbly to have you. Thank you for adding to our vibration here tonight with your beautiful songs god bless you to continue to advance and move forward be brave show them who is man besides my barbers pandit amita pandit devchan pandit sunil pandit satyam pandit shivam and the guru mai miss sangeeta thank you all for being here i have my uncle serge deo mongo Representing the NCIC, Uncle, please say a few words before we do RT. We have time. Don't watch, don't watch the boss. Somebody let my mind. Okay. Uncle Mongru is the first vice president of Diwali, simple language, Diwali Nagar. Ved Vyas Ji, other pundits, devotees, Sitaram. Sitaram. You know, I was supposed to be here since Monday. And every session I keep putting it off. And today when I made up my mind to attend, since morning I call in Pandit Ji. So I've given him time during the session. I know because I, I went back to his um, message, his WhatsApp message, and I saw the timings of the the discourses. So I say, okay, maybe sleeping and so on. The only time he really returned a call is when I'm walking on that, that step there, you know. But I, first of all, let me thank you very much. I enjoy that Dhrupad, Tilana, and Tumri. That was an excellent rendition. <laughs> and equally accompanying you is the Dholak player as well. He did a fantastic job. I, I can't talk much about Aman. Aman is here as a contestant, so I have to keep that very low. Only on Sunday, Saturday, we had the, the, the audition prelims for the Sangeet Padarshan, the TV show. 
So he came as a contestant. So I don't want anybody to get the impression that I'm pushing one contestant. You stay right there, you'll get a right to go back home. <laughs> but my dear brothers and sisters, I, will, I, will, I, I relish the opportunity to speak today, and I would really like to talk about one thing. Pandit, I mean, I, I appreciated your discourse. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I learned so much. And I mean, life is always a learning experience. Every day you learn something new. But I want to suggest something, and we are, we are having a challenge right now as Hindus. Conversion is no longer our challenge. You know, 15, 20, 30, 40 years ago, we had a major problem where Hindus were converting. And the more vulnerable they were, they were converting because of the churches were going and giving them, well, those days were chubby and this and that and getting the children involved. But our major problem now is we, ourselves. That's our problem. We have everything. We are, I mean, you know, half of the audience said them children are university graduate or attending university. Good. Baba attended university. I attended university. We all are graduates. But the thing about it, when we listen to the katha, and I want, this, I want the pundits to understand that some of the pundits, the discourses, you are now talking to scientific minds. Pandit, you are now talking to scientific minds. Gone are the days when we used to listen to the labid. And I have due respect to all the pandits years gone by. But we have to do the transformation then and now. Our forefathers did well to sustain and keep our dharma. The question is now, what are we doing for the generation ahead of us? What are we doing? We have to take up that challenge and get it done right. We are not doing it at all. A university graduate, PhD, whatever. All of us sitting here have some form of academic qualifications. But God gave us a motor car, nice house, fancy life, travel, everything. But we, what we don't have, and God can't give us, you know, and that has eluded us for decades is the ability to unite as a people. And we are failing in that respect. We have to start uniting. We have lost the political grip in this country. We have lost economic power. What else is left for us to grab on to? Little or nothing. Let's not allow that to happen for the generation ahead. We need to be forceful. You know, and Pandit made a point. And I was looking around as well. He said, every God, every image of God, they have some weapon. That doesn't mean you're going to get a gun and a knife and, you know, as a weapon. Let the weapon, your weapon, be your voice. Let your weapon be your pen. And that's what I want to see happen. I am going down the drain as well. You know, Pandit coming, I'm going down. Me how much time here in this world. But I want to make sure that when we leave this world, we leave a legacy. And that, with those few words, Panditji, I thank you for the opportunity and to the audience. I thank you very much for the privilege of your attention. And may God bless one and all. I can't come back any other day again. But thank you for the invitation. You know. So thanks so much. Better. You go like Panditji. Come on, that's your, that's your dharma. He's a chela of Chris Ramkila one. Really? Yeah, yeah. And we have a lot of them coming. Yes, the guru. He calls Chris Guruji and he calls me Dadaji. So thank you very much, Pandaji. I got the mic from you. Thank you, Uncle Mongru. <laughs> tonight, tonight I have my brother with me as well. Nari Narendra Nari. Thank you. God bless you. Going from satsang to satsang, adding to the atmosphere of tonight. Thank you for your flute, brother. Keep doing it. Prem Sabal of Indravan, Bihari Lalaki. Everybody, let's all stand. Put your hands together and close your eyes. Take a second for yourself, dear Lord. 
my name is and I just want to tell you thank you for continuing to protect me thank you for reminding me about who you are and what you can do and I am sometimes very forgetful I remember everything else but when it comes to the importance of prayer prayer in my life spirituality living right the subtle qualities the honesty straightforwardness sometimes I forget that bless me to be a better person the change has to start with me not other people it has to start with me when I start to tackle the problem when I start to be more charitable don't be prejudicial don't be racial when I really start to practice God makes and lives in everyone and that love starts to flow a little bit a little bit more as we infect people with respect good evening auntie good morning uncle see there am everybody if I could do that Christian then I'm living your dharma then I'm doing my part in your world help me to practice some of these things as a sanatanist sanatan dharma means I live by certain principles when God did I forget to have manners to show people love to be giving to be caring little things that I could attend to now tomorrow morning I could get up and be compassionate people working on the road and the sun hot God help me to be giving and a bottle of water won't kill me help me to, help me to be mindful tonight as I conclude this session Christian save me from the monster that lives within save me from the monsters that live externally in whichever form they come in I depend on you Sajam cha Varti Sanyukta Rahina Yojitam Mayam Deepam Grihana Devesham Shreilukya Timilapa Jai Jai Bhagavat Bhagavan Ki Let's sing together, everybody. Papio ko papi se hai ta. Papio ko papi se hai ta. अमर ग्रंथ ये होति पंच ये पंचम वेद निराला नव ज्योति जगाने वाला ये अमर ग्रंथ ये होति पंच ये पंचम वेद निराला नव ज्योति जगाने वाला हरि गान यही वरदान Hari 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 
capability to speak, they could speak. People who can't see because of your will and your grace, the impossible could become possible. This is the reason I hold to you. Dear Lord, help me to remember that. When moments of test, when moments of crisis come, let me rest my head in the right place. Thank you for everything you do for me. Thank you for all that you give me. Help me to be gracious and grateful and happy. As we come to the end of this session, dear God, bless your children tonight. Bless them to reach home safely. Those viewing online, in whichever part of the world they are looking on at, those on YouTube and different media, those watching on the repeat, God bless them. Let's pray together, everybody. Twameva Mata Sabita Twameva Twameva Pandusha Sabha Twameva Twameva Vidya Dravina Together, Om Shanti, 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 Shanti. 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 
स्वयं सबलो मा पति महादेव की पवन पुत्र अनुमान की श्री आदि शक्ति माता की वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की सत्य सनातन धर्म की जय 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 सीताराम सीताराम एवरीबॉडी